What your job looks like is minimal sleep. A lot of times you're standing, you know, three, four, five hour surgeries. You have to have some level of organization. There's definitely sights and smells and, you know, things that are different. It's not for the faint of heart, we'll say that. Um, if you just cut your finger and feel like you're gonna pass out, the OR is probably not for you. <laughs> If you're all about yourself, if you don't have any care or compassion for people, the OR is probably not for you because it's, it's a high stress. So if you're super sensitive, you shouldn't be a surge tech. You're not suited for this if you have an issue wearing masks because I'm gonna tell you what, you wear the mask 24 seven. You need to have a strong stomach because a lot of people tend to faint in the OR. And a lot of nurses I know, their favorite part of the job is helping the patient through a lot of the emotions that come along with surgical procedures or any procedure at all. If you're very interested in getting to know your patients really well, surge tech would not be for you. I think a lot of people come in and they go, oh, surgery, I can't do surgery because there's gonna be you know, blood and guts and I just can't handle that. And it's really more of a controlled atmosphere than people think. So our number one priority as a surgical technologist is aseptic technique. We protect the sterile field, so that involves opening all the instrumentation, preparing for the surgery, and doing it all in a sterile manner so that the field and the equipment doesn't get contaminated. And then once you're all set up, the surgeon comes in, you gown and glove them, and then you get right into surgery. The next part of our job is assisting in surgery. So doctor says, hand the scalpel, we hand the scalpel. But there are also other things such as holding retractors and assisting in small ways that um, we are certified to do. Being organized is huge. Knowing where all of your things are at on your sterile field so that you can quickly give them to the surgeon is a trait that you will need to have no matter where you go. And it's really rewarding to be part of the crew that helps change someone's life for the better. Anybody can do this. You just have to be willing to put in the work. And it takes, you know, being at the right place in your life to kind of give everything you have to this program. But at the end, you have a career that can take you really, really far. It was a hard two years, but, um, you know, I go to work every day and I'm grateful for all of that hard work because I'm doing something that I love.